hey, good optometry morning. So you are shopping for new glasses. And let's face it, you only do this every few years and you need some help picking what your lens materials should be. So I promise if you stay to the end of this video, you're gonna know more about what lens materials you should get in your new glasses than most of the people that are selling you glasses. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, also known as Dr. Eye Canada. I'm here to rescue you from the overwhelming amount of information you're getting or the underwhelming information that you're getting when you're purchasing new glasses. So if you're going out shopping for new glasses, if you go to any of the chain stores, very likely you're gonna get an underwhelming amount of information. They're gonna basically dumb it down and narrow it down to basically one option. And you're gonna kind of get the feeling that, well, all lenses are the same, so uh, I might as well just shop on price and whatever price, the one price option they give me, that's what I'm gonna get. On the other hand, if you go to an independent optical or optometrist, you're gonna get an overwhelming amount of information. They're gonna give you all these options. They're gonna put all to, pull out this big book and give you all these options. And you're gonna probably suffer from decision fatigue by the time they try to teach you all about optics. So if you can relate and have been in one of these two situations, give me a thumbs up and write down in the comments, help me. But first, before we break down all the options, I need to teach you about two things. So spectacle lenses basically bend light to put things in focus on the back of your eye. And one of the things that does that is the density of the material. And the more dense the material is, the more it will bend light with less material. And that density is referred to as the index of refraction. And the, index of ref and the higher the index of refraction means the more dense the lens material is and the less material you need to bend the same amount of light, which can give you a thinner lens in your glass. Index of refraction for spectacle lenses is gonna range from 1.49 up to 1.74. Now the second thing I'm gonna tell you about is gonna get a little bit technical, but bear with me, it's gonna be like four sentences and we'll get through it. So the other number that you need to know is the Abbey number, which refers to the amount of chromatic aberration that a lens gives off. And a chromatic aberration is basically when light separates out into kind of like a rainbow, kind of like when you see a prism. And the lower the Abbey number is, the more separation of light and the less clear the image is. So you want a high Abbey number and the highest Abbey number is 59 and the lowest Abbey number for spectacle lenses is about 32. So the first option is CR39, otherwise known as just regular plastic lens. And this is the most common material that's used in spectacle lenses. The index of refraction is 1.49 and the Abbey number is 58. So this is a great option to use in spectacle lenses because the Abbey number is really high and it's a really inexpensive lens to use. The lens material is pretty durable. It tints pretty well. It doesn't provide you any inherent UV protection but it's a great option if your prescription isn't very high. Option number two is crown glass. So crown glass is arguably the best material to be used in optics. And that's why it's used in a lot of cameras for its high optical quality. Basically the index of refraction is 1.5 and the Abbey number is the highest of all spectacle lenses of 59. Crown glass is also very resistant to scratching inherently, but the downside of glass is that it's very, very heavy and it's very brittle. So if you drop it, it's very likely to crack, shatter, or chip. And these two downsides far outweigh any of the advantages optically to use this lens as a spectacle lens. And so you're gonna find it's almost impossible to order a crown glass pair of lenses for your spectacles. So the next option is a mid-index plastic lens with a refractive index of 1.6. And this is a great option if you have a moderately high spectacle prescription and need a thinner lens. But the downside is that it has a low Abbey number of only about 38. So that means you're gonna get some color fringing at the edges of the lenses, particularly if your prescription is pretty high or your spectacle lenses are pretty large. So the advantages of it been thinner and lightweight and very, very durable far outweigh some of the disadvantages of the optics of this lens. And if you choose a frame that's semi-rimless or is a drill mount frame, you absolutely need to be in at least a 1.6 index of refraction, otherwise, otherwise your lens is gonna chip. The next option is a high index plastic lens with an index of refraction of 1.67. And this has all the advantages of the 1.6 index lens, but it's gonna be even thinner and even a little bit lighter. 
The downside is the AVI number is actually tied with the lowest of all the AVI numbers of only 32. So you might get some color fringing out at the edges if you look very, very carefully or, or a very good observer. But this might be a necessary thing that you might have to live with to get a thinner lens. And the next option is the ultra high index 1.74 index of refraction lens. Again, this has all the advantages of the 1.6 and the 1.67 index of refraction. Again, the Abbey number is pretty low. It's about 34 in this lens. But if you need a thin lens because you have a really high prescription, this is the option you need to go with. So the last two options they're going to give you are kind of special. They technically are a high index plastic lens. The first one is called polycarbonate. And the index of refraction of polycarbonate is 1.59. So it's going to be a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter than your CR39 1.5 lens. But the Abbey number of polycarbonate is the lowest of all lenses. It's 32. And so you're going to get very, very poor optics with this. Now, polycarbonate is a very, very special material because it is technically very, very soft and kind of malleable. And what that means is that it's very, very impact resistant. So polycarbonate is traditionally what has been used in safety glasses because basically if a particle is coming at this lens at a high velocity, it's going to hit the lens and that lens is actually going to absorb some of that energy and not get a shatter, but it's going to absorb it and resist it penetrating the lens. And so it makes it very, very safe to use. It's almost impossible to break. You can hit this with a sledgehammer and it's probably not going to crack in two. So it's a very, very safe material, but it's very soft, which also means it scratches very, very easily. So polycarbonate is commonly used in safety glasses, but it is sometimes used as the lens of choice in some opticals because it's a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter and it's very, very inexpensive. But the downside is that optics can't, aren't very good and it scratches very easily. It also is commonly used in a lot of kids, particularly in the United States, where practitioners and opticals are concerned about litigation from a lens shattering and causing issues. They put almost all kids in a polycarbonate lens. Now in Canada and other countries, we will often not go as polycarbonate as the standard lens. We might be using a CR39 lens because the optics and, and the durability is a little bit better. And we're not as worried about the litigation issues as in the United States. And another special lens that you might be offered or could use is called Trivex. And so Trivex is a special plastic lens that has an index of refraction of 1.53 and an Abbey number of 42. And the unique thing about Trivex is that it, like polycarbonate, it's very, very impact resistant, but it doesn't have the poor optical qualities of polycarbonate. And so a lot of times some people are using Trivex as a lens of choice that's impact resistant for safety lenses and for kids versus a polycarbonate. And so Trivex is a great alternative to polycarbonate lens. So the number one key thing about choosing the material for your spectacle lenses is we want to choose the lowest index of refraction that you can get for the lens that's still going to give you a cosmetically nice looking lens because that's going to also give you the best balance between optics and appearance of the lens. And if you want to learn about some of the spectacle lens designs you should be considering, you should watch this video right here. And with that, have a great optometry day.